Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, today we're gonna move in a box of 1994-95 Upper Deck Basketball Series 2. Uh, this box has 36 foil packs, 12 uh, pack uh, cards per pack. Uh, it does have a special edition insert card, uh, also has the predictor card, so we're gonna see if uh, we can do that and let's go ahead and break open this box and see what we can pull. Uh, this year was the year that I think Jordan was focused on, Michael Jordan was focused on uh, his his baseball career. So there aren't a plentiful amount of Jordans. I think there is one uh, other than the predictors, which is uh, the then and now card. So we'll see if we can if we can get that. But then they were coming out with these at the time, it's large insert. So see if we can any cool cards so all right we got our trusty dusty penny sleeves top loaders for well i don't know if we're gonna be using those but we'll see um a lot of rookies in this uh set there's grant hills uh, one we like we're looking for jason kidd juan howard so we'll see and then uh, oh looks like the bricking's not so bad yeah so they're pretty smooth so let's go ahead and See if we can who we get out of here. J.R. Reed. Yeah, so Upper Deck was notorious for there's a nice Reggie Miller. That card. We'll uh, penny sleeve these after, but they're notorious for uh, especially during this era they would uh, Put the cards all over the place so we'll be flipping flip the flip our cards all over the place but rather have that than uh have them be sequ uh sequential so so then you know pack, we can pack search so it's jeff malone let's look together there but not too bad. And our insert card is Tim Hardaway. So getting some pretty good players for the inserts. That's the insert card we're gonna see in every single one of these packs. But a then and now Jordan would be nice. Uh, Grant Hill would be nice. Uh, take Jason Kidd. Uh, after this box, actually, we're gonna do a, we're gonna be looking for Zion rookie card in a, a newer, a newer box of uh, NBA hoops, so that'll be cool. It says it has an autograph in it, um, and it says that, not so good there. Um, it says it has an autograph in it, that it could be glitched on as well. Uh, likelihood of that is extremely rare, but hey, you never know. So, but yeah, just put up a box, a break of 1983 the rookies uh insert um archive and uh that was fun we did find a couple jordans in that uh one in pretty much pristine condition and one with a little specking it was a brutal break man it was uh the cards were so glossy at the time and it just they stuck together horribly i mean i would say like 50 percent of the cards in the box uh you know they're in okay condition but they just you know, never would get them rated never uh you know you're just kind of putting them aside at that point but we got lucky because the two jordans which is what we were looking for uh one one was great and one was like maybe would be a psa 8 so Tom lucas um so we got lucky considering that but they was man it was tough to crack those cards we were literally peeling them uh, which is not therapeutic at all for there's Dennis Rodman. Uh, the break, right? You're you like to hear the cards swish and crack in the packs, and that was just drudging through the mud as far as pack openings go. So, Pete Pierce, Robert Packed. All right, so we are 25% through the box, one quarter with the opening of this pack. Um, there's Juwan Howard. I think this is rookie card. 
Yeah, this is Michael Jordan draft analysis. That's cool. That's a cool card. So let's see. We got this. Still haven't hit any. Basically, then and now Jordan, predictors, Grant Hill, Jason Kidd. We'll take Shaq. All right, so this will be halfway through the box after this stack here. Then, uh, I don't know, I think there's uh, some odds down here, so maybe we'll look at that on the next break and we'll start doing that beforehand. Let's see. Oh, you can hear my puppy, puppy whooping in the background. He's uh, inside and he's upset that I get to play outside right now and <clears throat> If you can, sorry about that, but there was a huge possum back here, and he uh, he's about 20, 22 to 25 pound dog, but you know, they think that they're uh, as big as you are, so he went straight for them, and his possums can be pretty vicious, also give animals rabies, so he's going to spend the next 30 minutes inside, make sure, that, make sure that guy's gone, and he's safe, and then we'll let him out to play. Yeah, I was uh, telling somebody that it's interesting to see the animals come in to the more animals. I mean, possums are pretty common, at least where I'm at, but into uh, the territories because people aren't out. So the less we're out, the safer they feel and see if uh, we'll see how, uh, how that works out. But anyway, so back to these cards, we'll chug along here. Mark Price, there's another Carl. So we're getting plenty of Carl Malone. We got our last uh, stack, we got lots of Carl as well. And oh, there's a Jason Kidd right there. And I think this is rookie year, right? Yeah, so that's a pretty good card right there as far as this box goes. And it was the insert card, so that's a nice one. We'll make that, put that separate up here. All right, so we are, goal is then and now Jordan, Jason Kidd, Grant Hill rookie, maybe a Shaq. So we are one of four cards we're looking for. So well, we'll take any of these cards that are great players and Hall of Famers, but we have specifics. There's a rookie standout card. It's a nice, actually wish, get the Jason Kidd like that with a Grant Hill. Anthony Miller. It's hard, the, uh, the, the sheen, the gloss. I'll have to buy a, a little lighting kit and move my hobby so that I can actually read some of these shinier cards. All right, let's see. It's Glenn Robinson, good player. Jalen Rose, I think this is a rookie as well. Yeah, so draft analysis by Jordan. They were just trying to work Jordan any way they could into uh, the sets when he was playing baseball, I guess. Rod Strickland, Danny Manning, Michael Smith, and someone else we're not looking for. Yeah, I've been waiting on this 1996-1997 Fleer for almost a month. It's been, it's been, it's, I mean, I get it, I did get it from a little international, so, you know, because they're getting harder and harder to find, and, you know, there's a risk there, 100% a risk, but uh, we need to make sure, um, you know, we're, the boxes are going for so much money that, you know, it was a good deal, and I was like, well, it's worth the risk, but, I gotta, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little impatient as far as, you know, 30 days out. Really wanna do that quest for that Kobe rookie. Um, and some of the other great cards in there, so. Let's see what we got going on there. Looking for that Michael Jordan, then and now. Um, of course my neighbor across the street started doing some yard work just like yeah that's uh, another reason to 
to move the studio. Oh, there's Grant Hill. Nice. So we got Jason Kidd and Grant Hill. That's awesome. Another great card. So we'll move these up. We'll put these down. So sweet. So two of four goal cards. It's hard with these older packs. Sometimes you, uh, it's fun to open them, but here there's Bill Bradley. It's always uh, interesting to see. It's another Jerry West. This will pretty common. Um, it's interesting to see what you can get, and then you know have the have the cards you want. Um, with the packs like this, where the value is uh, moderate, you know you're pretty much going for just players you like. Willie Anderson. Mario Ellie. Okay, almost halfway through the box. Let's keep, let's keep going. All right. Yeah, so the Glenn Rice, Anthony Miller. I think Anthony Hardaway would be nice. It's Jalen Rose again. I think I said it was his rookie year. So maybe, uh, they're pretty generous on putting the rookies as the insert cards, so. I like it, this was the year, 93, I think was uh, the year before this was when, I mean, there were always little inserts here and there, or variations on cards, but I think 93 was kind of coming out of the junk wax era, the industry got hit so hard, they were getting the repercussions of that overprinting, and then they saw the benefit of, okay, well, we can still print a lot, but, if we put in inserts, those can be the rare cards and those can help sustain the industry a little bit. Um, which I've been told I'm 100% for. Getting those inserts is super fun because you know, you can you can collect your cards and then you can also get some rare hits. All right, this is the third stack in this box. So we'll See if we can pull off our our then and now Jordan. Um, little little sticky, not really too bad, like barely. Jeff Hornacek, back to back. My price. And Brooks Thompson. So yeah, if we get that Zion Williams, it'd be great. Um, also, I'm, you know, I think like most of us, like I love collecting players. Oh, there's a Grant Hill card. Nice, another one. This was actually the one I thought we were looking for. So this is his uh, his rookie card. It's funny because we had uh, my cousin, one of my cousins uh, younger than me, had uh, pulled some crazy Grant Hill when we were a kid. Um, oh, and there's Anthony Hardaway. Nice. This is a good pack. Get this one, huh? Sweet. Um, he had pulled some crazy Grant Hill when we were kids. It was like some gold uh, insert from like a pack. I think he got it out of like a vending machine. Um, and it was worth like $450 like at the time. This was like, it must have been like 1994 uh, or five. And we were we were just still kids, and uh, uh, it's crazy the value because Grant Hill was such a great player, and then like anything else, like there's some superstars in their height. Even now, we'll be collecting that have some value, and there's a run on them because of what could be, and they're they're, they're awesome, and then there'll be a drop off, and or they'll just turn out to be a, a good player, but not what um, not like Kobe Bryant level or something. And uh, now that card I think was worth like. 20 bucks or something so sometimes you gotta you know it's not always you find a great card and then you keep it forever and it's just gonna keep going up in value exponentially uh, sometimes you you gotta play the hits and go okay um 450 for a dollar 99 pack at that time uh had we sold it uh to a card shop let's just say got you know less than that but as kids we would have increased our another mark jackson increased our card collection uh pretty heavily with that so but you know you get attached and you know you get you get this weird like sentimental value or not sentimental but you get this weird attachment to value uh, of cards that you 
pull out of packs that are rare. You're like, oh, I can never get rid of this. Like, it's too personal. You lived a moment. It came out of the pack. <laughs> it's pretty funny when you think about it because they're just little pieces of cardboard for the most part. or uh, And they can do those little upticks. It's like uh, being, a, being a little fiend for uh, that little rush. There's uh, Bill Walton. That's cool. Like that. And, all right. So, we're pulling some of our cards, actually. We got two Grant Hills, Jason Kidd, Anthony Hardaway. See if we can get a Shaq. See if we can get a then and now Jordan. I, uh, I opened a box. I got a lot of two. So, I like I said, when I do that, so, well, I find it therapeutic also to open cards, like maybe it's late at night, I'm bored, or I'm, you know, watching something on uh, TV, background noise, and working on a project, and then I'll take a break, and I'll see a box of cards sitting there, and I'm like, you know, it would be fun to just methodically crack open this box. So I did open a box of uh, uh, 1992, 1991, 1992, there's Vladi. Um, NBA hoops, and I got, like... I, I don't know what was going on. I got like seven or eight Jordans out of that that were in pretty much cut perfect condition for that era. I was uh, was shocked. So, and then I was bummed because I was like, man, of course, of course, the one you pick uh, to do private, you uh, you get all those hits. But um, we still have another box, so maybe we'll be just as lucky. And then. Um, what I should do is I should not be so gluttonous and then I should open a few packs and then just start a box of different packs and then maybe in like six months do like a random pack opening of multiple boxes. That would be the smart thing to do. But, you know, I am um, uh, a patient consumer sometimes and I just want to, I want to see, I want to see what's in them, the, the journey. Okay, um, there's Death for Shrimp. This is one of my favorite players when I was a kid. Mark Price, I, I really like Mark Price. I collected his cards. I just, I get so many of them that it's like I'm so numb to seeing his cards that I just pass them over now. And Pooh Richardson is our insert card. All right, so. Keep going here. What does that say? Tom Sanders. There's another rookie card, it looks like. Someone we don't we're not looking for. Another shrimp. It's a new one. Carlos Rogers. So this is the predictor card. NBA rookie predictor card. So this would probably be the most valuable card in the set if it was somebody that we wanted, uh, Grant Hill or something like that. So I guess we can hope for that as well. I haven't really, uh, it's been such a long time that I haven't, I can't remember exactly what all these cards look like. Oh, wow. What is this? Oh, Derek Coleman. Man, that's, that's cool. There's actually some pretty random inserts in here as far as rookies and things like that. So, and uh, different uh, variations. That's cool. Maybe we can get one of those with a uh, player we want. But yeah, I can't remember. I can't always remember what I'm looking at before I open them. So I'm experiencing them almost for the first time uh, as I'm opening them now. So I'll be... The inflection of my voice sometimes will go lower because I'm like, well, these are pretty uh, not so fantastical. And then other times like that where I'm like, oh, well, I was not expecting that to happen. Yeah, so pretty surprised. I mean, these are... I know that there's a lot going on, but sometimes the simpler cards are are the ones we want. Those ones are a little, a little stuck together. There we go. Let's see. Oh, there's another Anthony Hardaway. So, we got two of those. That's cool. And I did see a card that I passed over that I personally would still like and it was this guy right here Eddie Jones so I had a huge I was I'm in LA so I'm a big Laker fan 
And uh, I think my family and I, we were pretty bullish on uh, Eddie Jones back in the day. So we probably own most of his cards. <laughs> but all right, so this is the last, the last stack. So we got, it looks like eight packs, eight packs to pull a shack or a then and now Jordan. See if we can do it. Get this out of here. Get out of here. Um, it's Carlos Rogers. Mike Williams. Sean Rooks. Grant Long. Kevin Wills is our insert. I was uh, putting together a box for uh, to submit it's another Jalen Rose rookie card, backed up by another rookie card. That's cool. Uh, not who we're looking for, but still, that's nice. Um, and I was gonna submit it to PSA this box, but in light of what's going on right now, I just don't feel like it's worth the risk, timing-wise, for other individuals to be. I'm still ordering things online. I think a lot of people are, and uh, those people are, you know soldiers doing what they do but if i can mitigate some of the some of them having to get out there off of some frivolous stuff like that for now then i will so we'll have to wait so some things will be extended um on videos but hey you know what that's uh that's the most important things that people are healthy and safe and right now that seems like it's going to be a tall order but i think uh I think we're gonna be able to pull it off if we just keep our keep our wits about us. Okay, let's see then and now. Michael Williams, another shrimp, Rick Chapman, Glenn Robinson, who I know is a great player, but it's just one of those just good slash great enough that um, I I definitely don't discard his cards or anything i mean i don't discard any cards but i uh i'll see an insert of his or something and i'm like yeah well, them's the brakes like whatever um but i know that they can be they can be good mm -hmm. matt fish like there's so many players that go through the NBA, MLB, NFL. It's like you could almost be funny and make a basketball or baseball card of yourself and then put it in a random pack, wax pack opening. <laughs> I don't think anyone would notice. Um, <laughs> uh, you know, it would be funny, but then, you know, some people wouldn't get it or you're not everyone gets your humor. Sometimes you're not everyone's cup of tea. Sometimes you're exactly the cup of tea they want. But, um, <laughs> you know, someone would be like, that's, you know, how dare you? And, you know, I'm sure there'd be some outrage, but uh, the humor in it, at least for me, would be there. Um, Charles Smith. Okay, so it's 94, right? Yeah, no Shaq yet. No Shaquille. No then, now Jordan. Series 2, 1994 upper deck. There's Jerry West. Sean Rooks again. Flip this over. It's going to break better that way. I can feel it's a little... Say a writer, one, yeah. It's pretty thick cards, like I get confused sometimes. I, well, confused, I get, I can feel the thickness of the cards and uh, the Dennis Rodman. They'll feel like two sometimes. Okay, last three packs. So these are, these are the ones we'll see. Looking for Shaq. And a then and now Jordan, card number, I think 359 from what I 
researched. So, let's see, this is another rookie. I guess uh, magically retired and then came back after this year, huh? Yeah, I think that's what it was. Like I said, I'm, I'm just getting back into it as well with the times and the, the time I have right now and needing to be productive and do something and put something out there. And I thought, you know, this is, uh, this is a fun way to do that. But so I'll, I'll, my recollection on some things will be maybe close. So never claim to be an expert, but oh, there's Jawan Howard. So I wasn't against this card, um, rookie card. So um against it i wasn't uh looking for it but um, i mean i'm happy to take it uh but i'm not an expert but you know a lot, that's a lot of the hobby right it's your there's facts of stats and of course things like that but then it's your your feelings and oh there's another jones sweet uh your uh interpretation on the hobby the card the players you know sometimes there might be an amazing player that you try to get autograph from and they snubbed you and now you hate them and that's totally valid <laughs> of you to have that feeling so as we go through these it'll be a uh, objective and subjective in different ways so all right so it looks like our then and now is not jordan so no jordan pull but we can see if we can pull a shack out of these last few cards here If you're new to the channel, uh, appreciate it. We do these box breaks, all different types of sports, Pokemon. So if you uh, have the moment to hit that subscribe button, we appreciate it. It does help us uh, grow the channel and be able to interface with you in different ways and some cool stuff coming up. And uh, obviously any thumbs up will help. It's just a hand gesture on a computer. So no harm, no foul. All right, that's it. So uh, thanks for joining me. Uh, we'll be back soon. Everyone stay safe. Bye-bye.